Hello guys, so today we're uh, gathering for trending video. So if you've watched uh, a video about the channel, I split that trending videos are videos that I try to make unedited or almost unedited videos that I can make quickly, but still convey a quick important message to people who are following me. So these trending videos are just basically reacting videos. Uh, I'm reacting to what's being posted recently online. And you know, when I come across some content on YouTube or somewhere else, I can just make a trending video where I uh, answer uh, straight away what I think about this and what you can get from it and how you can improve uh, according to this information and to, to this thing I'm reacting to. So today that's a video about Ronnie Coleman who was uh, answering a question about, um, to his followers, a uh, sort of Q&A he did. And so I started listening to it uh, just, you know, by curiosity. And, uh, you know, Ronnie Coleman is one of the best bodybuilders in the world. Uh, there is no doubt about this. Uh, but I, I think this was an opportunity for me to actually, you know, come back to another uh, subject, which is in general, how you shouldn't probably listen to people who've been using products uh, in their bodybuilding career because it doesn't really apply to naturals and to people wanting to improve naturally. So in this case, Ronnie Coleman, as I said, one of the best bodybuilders in the world, I think still sometimes lacks uh, to give, you know, obviously good insights or good advice training to natural bodybuilders uh, because obviously naturals can train the same way as people who use products. So we're gonna see in this video what Ronnie Coleman uh, was basically saying and what I regret he didn't mention after uh, saying what basically he answered to uh, his audience. So in this video, Ronnie Coleman was basically asked uh, how he grew his arms so big. And you know, basically Ronnie Coleman, you know, mentions his biceps and he said that he was basically, uh, you know, training biceps every day for years. It started in apparently somewhere, you know, where there wasn't a lot of equipment and uh, so curls or you know training biceps was something that he could do all the time and so you'd, you would train them every day and so the issue is not really that it's, it says this on his video what I think is uh, uh, bothering me is that afterwards it doesn't mention that obviously training his biceps every day is not something that will work for everyone and that it's something most likely risky for most people and that most people shouldn't train like this how did you grow your biceps? And uh, that's an easy one. I did biceps every single day. Yeah, when I was in college, you know, we didn't have a lot of stuff. And I would just do biceps every single day until they got all the way up to like 22 inches. And uh, I still did them. <laughs> so, you know, Training arms uh, or like biceps every day is something that, you know, it might work for a few people. Um, and I like to take the example of when you start uh, a sport very young, for example, rowing, you know, kayak, uh, you know, you might get uh, better back results later when you start the gym because you've been, you know, hyper stimulating this area. And it's been shown, you know, in many people that sometimes uh, people who are a sport uh, working a specific muscle area when they later start bodybuilding they get great results there because they've been stimulating this part uh, this muscle part almost all the time as they were younger uh, and so you know they made it basically a strong part and you know this you could apply this with biceps I guess if you start young and you you kind of do curls every day like sometimes we see these stories where uh, it actually helps you later on develop uh, great biceps or you know great muscle part where you've been basically hyper stimulating this area, you know, just driving uh, the blood there all the time, uh, you know, making use a strong part. And this is something I will talk about in other videos about, you know, sets of 100 reps, uh, you know, things that, techniques that could actually help you, uh, you know, develop a strong part from a weakness uh, to hyper stimulate uh, this area. This is something that is not yet really proven, but something that I do uh, believe in, or at least uh, something that most people should look into. Uh, and so this could be a reason why, uh, you know, some people grow their biceps big. That's because they've been, you know, hyper stimulating them. And by doing them every day uh, when they were younger, maybe it might show great results. But to most people, uh, you have to be careful with that approach. And for most people as a beginner or novice, whatever, it's just very risky to do these kind of things. 
mostly if you're gonna do some sort of high volume training every day on your biceps you're just really risking injuries uh, you know to hurt your tendons that's really the only thing you're risking there um, the only way I could also see you know doing biceps uh, every day would be like a low volume type of approach where you go uh, you know heavy but you don't really destroy uh, your muscle basically and you know there they would there wouldn't be any room for recovery in between these everyday sessions whereas when you do some sort of, of you know strength work uh, you're just doing very low reps and you cannot do it every day in a cheated way then that might work but if you're gonna hammer your biceps every day i don't see it working at all uh, unless maybe you're taking pds and so your recovery is much faster so in this case you know maybe ronnie coleman could train his uh, biceps every day but uh, I think first, you know, if he was using products, then his recovery might be uh, much better for that. Maybe Ronnie Coleman has better genetics than you in terms of recovery, building muscle and training his arms uh, or biceps every day could work for him. But, you know, I regret that obviously um, somewhat of his influence doesn't mention afterwards when he says something like this to uh, uh, one million people um, on his you know, YouTube following count. Uh, that he doesn't say, well, I've been training biceps every day, but this is something quite risky and I wouldn't advise uh, most people to do it. You have to be careful with that. So this is what I wanted to say today, you know, be careful about uh, what pro bodybuilders uh, say sometimes online, mostly those who's be, who've been using uh, PDs because simply the way they could train might not be the, train, uh, the way you can train as a natural. So you have to be careful. Now, something that you can always take from Money Coleman is, you know, the amount of work he's been putting in bodybuilding, the way he was training, you know, these motivation videos where you see him training very hard, uh, you know, the go, go heavy mentality as well uh, was really something that I think you should take from him. Uh, so and I want to give you, you know, something that you can actually really, um, you know, follow when you listen to Ronnie Coleman. This is really this hard work mentality. Obviously, thanks to him, a lot of bodybuilders have been, you know, following this path and you know going heavy etc and this brought them great results but for the part that is you know, training biceps every day or you know when i've seen him before uh, mentioned that his body fat was like uh one or something or three or you know whatever what he was mentioning on negative body fat there was a video with joe rogan about this it was, uh dipped on the water wow it was negative numbers <laughs> it was minus two you know these are the kind of things that I wonder why he says these kind of things because it doesn't really make sense, but he still seems serious about it. And you know, this is misinformation, and it's not because people are probably builders that they always, you know, say uh, trustful things. And mostly in the case where they've been using PDs, and a lot of what I've been doing basically was covered uh, by the use of PDs and gave them results, even though some things that they might have done might uh, have not worked if they didn't use the products. So, you know, be careful when you listen to people uh, who've been using products, uh, enhancements uh, in their bodybuilding journey. Uh, take it with a grain of salt. So just try to make your own opinion. Uh, sometimes they give great advice, but sometimes you just have to watch out. And so today's video was about, you know, watching out uh, this misinformation and here to be careful about uh, things like training your biceps every day. This might not bring you the best results as a natural and so my advice to you is it would be to actually do just normal you know biceps once or twice a week give you know proper rest days uh, in between you know your biceps or you know triceps your arms basically training so you actually do great sessions where you can go heavy but also do some hypertrophy work but also give them the time to rest in between so you can actually grow uh, you know rest eat uh, in between the sessions and get the best results out of it. So guys, if you liked um, this, you know, trending video, uh, as I call them, and, uh, you know, add them to the trending uh, reacting video playlist, then feel free to comment uh, under to share it. Um, and, you know, everything that you can do to help the channel grow, help me and help yourself as well. And I hope I will see you next time in another video. Take care of yourself.